Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Ayman Nazir and welcome to Knowledge Realm students we are studying international relations that is a very interesting subject and today we're going to cover system of approach of Morton Kaplan so let's get started starting with a brief introduction of system approach students this was an approach in international relations that was presented by Morton Kaplan Morton Kaplan was one of the proponents of scientific revolution in international relations he was a behavioralist he believed in behavioral approach and uh, he was one of the people who took part in the second great debate of IR we discussed the second great debate in the previous lecture in detail and he he aligned with the behavior approach and he was of the view that we should abandon traditional approach if we want our subject political science or international relation to to survive in the world we should adopt the behavioral approach students he wrote system and process in international politics in 1957 he gave an approach that is based on scientific or behavioral approach uh, the system approach uh, introduced by Martin Kaplan it was based on scientific or I should say behavioral approach because he was a proponent of behavioral approach he studied the international system Martin Kaplan a point that international relations is a set of observable and understandable patterns between the actors that are elements of a system that is international system and we should study that system this was the main view of of Martin Kaplan he asserted that we should not take knowledge from history we should abandon the traditional approach and we should study the international system we should adopt the scientific approach and the behavioral approach so this was the brief introduction of system approach let's study the major claims of system theory of international relations these are very interesting and I will try to explain it in the most simple manner students the first claim of Martin Kaplan was that there is an international system and this system it is an analytical entity for explaining the behavior of all actors of international system and uh, what are these actors simply states Martin Kaplan opines that states interact in an international system and we can study this international system this is an analytical entity instead of going to history and in instead of just making assumptions like classical realism that uh, human nature is selfish human nature is bad we can study this system he says that actors of international relations live in an international system and not in space state actors such as Pakistan India China USA they all live in a system and to understand their their behavior instead of going to history historical knowledge and just making assumptions we should understand and study that international system because that international system is an analytical entity and we can study that analytical entity scientifically this was the first claim of Martin Kaplan then he said that elements of international system are interconnected what are the elements of international system simply the states he he believed and he argued that these elements are interconnected actors of international system are interdependent on each other for example Pakistan is dependent on China China is dependent on Pakistan USA and India both of them are interdependent on each other and interconnected Iran and KSA they have some relation they have sometimes they have positive relations sometimes they have negative relations and in in the international system they are interconnected so on the basis of their relations we can study their behavior we can study how states behave Pakistan and China they have positive relations so by virtue of these positive relations they always behave friendly so we can study this and there is no need to just make assumptions like classical realism then the third point observable and understandable patterns of interaction of international system he said that the patterns of actions of international actors and the way they interact with each other there is a pattern and this pattern is observable and understandable we can observe the pattern in which international actors interact with each other this is observable and this is understandable 
For example, he said that in a bipolar system, weak states would, would align with strong poles of the world. This is a system. Bipolar system is an international system. And in that system, we can observe a pattern followed by weak states and followed by strong states. I mean, strong state would uh, try to would try to have as more weak states as with itself. And weak state would would weak state cannot live in isolation. Weak state would try to align with some strong pole of the world. So he said that these patterns are observable. These patterns of interaction in international system, these are observable and understandable. We can understand the pattern of the pattern followed by the these states. In the bipolar system than in the unipolar system and he said that there are regularities in the actions of the states and we can study this we can st by studying the international system we can study how a state would act all right so he said that we can study this scientifically then he said that patterns influence and are influenced by the international environment the patterns of a state, the way a state behaves is influenced by the international environment. I mean, if there is a bipolar system, that system would influence the way a state would behave. McClellan said, a nation's behavior is a two-way activity, taking from and giving to international environment. I'll repeat, taking from and giving to international environment. I mean, if there is a bipolar system, Weak, that, that bipolar system would influence the behavior of a strong state as well as of a weak state. Weak state would align with the, with the strong state to protect itself from the aggression of the rival strong state. In Cold War, states aligned with two superpowers of the world. That was the international environment at the time. That was the bipolar system of the world. So what did the weak states do they aligned themselves with the strong poles of the world at the time so that was a system and that system influenced the pattern followed by the states of the world so he said that the action of weak states was influenced by the system in the cold war cold war ended in unipolar world and the actions of states influenced the system Vice versa, I should explain this also that how the actions of a state influence the international environment. At that time, US and USSR, they were involved in a cold war and they were aggressive to each other. So their actions led to the development of a unipolar world. USA emerged as the only superpower of the world in 1989 and that was the end of bipolar system of the world so the actions of usa and ussr influenced the international environment so what did martin kaplan say that patterns influence and are influenced by the international environments and we can study this this was his claim then another claim he said that there are some rules of interaction uh, states do not interact with each other in isolation and uh, in a haphazard manner there are some rules of interaction in interacting with each other elements or i should say states follow some rules of interaction and uh, i think that these rules emanate from the capabilities or the power of a state for example take the example of uh, india and usa students India definitely cannot uh, practice offensive realism against USA because USA is a superpower of the world. USA can practice offensive real realism against any state in the world because right now USA is the superpower. But no state in the world, like take, take the example of Iran. Iran cannot uh, exercise offensive realism against, against the USA. So there are some rules of interaction and the states follow these rules. Then he said that scientifically understandable international system. He said that this uh, international system is scientifically understandable due to the regularities of the behavior of the states and patterns of inter interaction. The system can be understood scientifically. 
and we have studied in detail that uh, there are regularities in the behavior of states in bipolar system the states would behave in a way and in a uni unipolar system the states would behave in the in a way this was the claim of uh, martin kaplan and he said that we can study this international system scientifically because there are regularities of the behavior of states so these were the main claims of system theory of international relations given by Martin Kaplan. I hope I have made myself clear. Then students, Martin Kaplan came up with six models of international system. He said that uh, there is an international system and we can study that system and he presented six models of international system. These models were balance of power system, loose bipolar system, tight bipolar system, the universal system, the hierarchical system, and the unit veto system. Let's study these systems in detail. So the first model was balance of power system. Students, this was the international system that the world witnessed before World War One. Before World War One, all the powers of Europe were almost equal in military power. There was no superpower of the world. All the powers like Germany, Austro-Hungary, Russia, France, Great Britain, all these powers were equal in power and they were trying to balance their power in Europe so that no state could gain more power to dominate other powers in Europe. This was the balance of power system. This was their rule. What they used to do, they used to balance each other to maintain peace in Europe because they knew that if any of the state had gained power that would have exterminated all other powers. That state would definitely have posed threats to all other powers. So what they did, they used to balance power in Europe. They used to make alliances and uh, sign agreement with each other to maintain power, to maintain the balance of power in the system. So this was the rule to maintain peace in the system. What they used to do, they just used to balance power. Germany and Austria-Hungary, these two empires were in alliance and uh, they balanced the power of Russia and France. Russia and France were in alliance and uh, Great Britain and Belgium, these two states were in alliance. So in this way, all the powers balanced each other, balanced the power of each other. So this was the balance of power system. This was the first model given by Martin Kaplan. He said that there is an international system. There is a model of international system that is balance of power system. What states do in this system? They just try to balance each other and they cannot let any state gain more power because if a state gained more power, that state would, that state would, uh, expand itself and that would be threatening for all the other powers of the of of the system so this was the balance of power system the second model of international system presented by morton kaplan was loose bipolar system the breaking down of balance of power results in a bipolar system in which there are two powerful states in the world making two poles this system dictates the actions of states this was another model presented by Morton Kaplan. He said that uh, if balance of power system breaks, it results in a bipolar system where we have two powerful states. And in a bipolar system, weak states, what weak states do? They try to align themselves with the with the with the one with the superpower that is friendly with them. For example, the bipolar system that the world witnessed in the later years of Cold War, that is nine, from 1969 to 1979. This was the time, this was the decade when world witnessed a loose bipolar system, USA and USSR. These two states were the two poles of the world. USA was very powerful. USSR was very powerful at the time. These two states were in a Cold War. And what weak states were doing, weak states like Canada, Pakistan, these states were aligning themselves with the superpowers so they could protect themselves and they could gain advantage or favors from the superpowers. Canada aligned with the 
USA, Pakistan aligned with USA in 1969, and China aligned with USSR. But it's not like that all the weak states would align in this system. It was a this in loose bipolar system. There are also some states who do not like to align with anyone, like India. At the time, India did not align with anyone, and this is the distinguishing feature of loose bipolar system. That in loose bipolar system, there are some weak states that like to align themselves with the poles of the world, and some weak states that do not align with the with any of the state of the um, poles of the world. So there are non-aligned and aligned states. So this was the loose bipolar system that the world witnessed in later years of Cold War from 1969 to 1979. Then we have a tight bipolar system. Loose bipolar system transforms into a tight bipolar system. There is no non-aligned state in the system. Students, we have studied in the previous slide that in a loose bipolar system, there would be some aligned states and some non-aligned states like uh, like the situation that the world faced in 1969 from uh, to 1979 there were some aligned states and some non-aligned states some aligned with USA and some aligned with USSR but there were some non-aligned states also like India but in a tight bipolar system there are no non-aligned state all the states are compelled to align themselves with their respective superpower of the world International organizations are weak in the system. States would be aggressive and there would be instability in the world. States would, uh, states would like to attack each other. And there would be a looming threat of disturbance of peace. In a tight bipolar system is not good for peace. There would be a looming threat of disturbance of peace. And this was the system in early years of Cold War, from 1945 to 1953. This was the time when the world faced a tight bipolar system. So this was another model of international system presented by Morton Kaplan. Then we have the universal system model. Students, this is a hypothetical model and uh, the world has never witnessed this kind of international system. I mean, we are not, we have never been fortunate enough to witness this kind of uh, peaceful and uh, amazing international system. So what is this system? In this system, nations are organized in a federal system. There is a universal powerful actor like the United Nations organization. And uh, what does this uh, universal powerful actor do? It tries to maintain peace in the world. There is a rule of, a uni there is principle of mutual toleration and universal rule of law, international law. And uh, it was predicted by Morton Kaplan that in this kind of system, peace would prevail and no threat of war. There would be no threat of war. But we are not fortunate enough to witness this kind of system. And there had never been this kind of system in the world. I mean, yes, we can say that United Nations has performed very well in some part of the world. But we cannot say that there is a universal rule of law. I mean, still today... There are wars in the world, there have been wars in the world, and uh, there has been in injustice in the world. So we cannot say that uh, principle of mutual toleration and universal rule of law has been practiced in the world. So this is a hypothetical model, the universal system. In this system, there, he, he, he says that in this system there would be a universal actor like United Nations and all the other actors, all the other state actors like China, USA, India, Pakistan, they will be subservient and they will be under this, this powerful actor. But things are not this way today in the world and uh, USA is much more stronger than the United Nations. I mean, USA does whatever it want to do. So this was the universal system model presented by Morton Kaplan. The fifth model of international system presented by Morton Kaplan is hierarchical system. This is something similar to unipolar world order. In this system, there would be a single powerful state in the world and all the other nations would be under the control of that single powerful nation of the world. Superpower would become the universal actor and it would absorb the power of other, all the other nations 
like this. I mean, this is the superpower of the world and all the other nations, all the other states would be subservient to this and this will absorb. This would become so powerful that it would not remain possible for other states to overthrow this or to surpass this. So all the other states would be so much weak that they would be subservient to this superpower of the world. It would absorb the power of all the other nations. This is the hierarchical system. The states would no longer be states, but only functional units, these are states. These are states, they would not remain states anymore. They would just be some functional unit of this superpower of the world. Functional unit or territorial subdivisions of superpower. I mean, their identity of being state, they would lose their identity of being state and there would just be some functional units. So he says that if it comes into existence through conquest, it would be a directive system. And if it comes into existence through democratic means, it would be a non-directive system. So this was the hierarchical system and this, is, this was just a, a hypothetical model world has never seen such kind of system. This was just a hypothesis of Morton Kaplan. The last model of international system, the unit veto system. Students in this system, Morton Kaplan predicted that multipolarity will prevail and all states will be equal. Each state possesses weapons that can be used to destroy any state in the world. In this system, each state would be enemy of all other states. Students, this system resembles the Thomas Hobbes state of nature. I mean, Thomas Hobbes asserts that man lives in a state of nature, in a state of war of all against all. And everyone possess, everyone poses threat to everyone. So in this unit veto system, all states will be equal to each other in power and every state will feel a threat from every other state for example this is state state 3 all this since all the states are equal in power so this state will feel a threat from this state state 1 state 4 state 5 and state 2 all the states po pose threat to this state and this system will stable will remain stable only if all the states have power to retaliate and to resist the attack it is stable if states are able to resist the threat and retaliate if it gets attacked so this was the last model presented by morton kaplan these were the six models Morton Kaplan presented the models of international system. So Morton Kaplan had done his work of giving a new approach to international relations, but not all scholars of international relations were satisfied with his approach and some of them criticized system approach. So let's study the criticism on system approach. First of all, students, the scholars of uh, IR, the critics of this approach claimed that this approach is just a framework. These are not theories based on any material, but just conceptual framework. I mean, you presented only six international systems, the balance of power system, the bipolar, tight bipolar, loose bipolar, hierarchical system, but you did not, you did not formulate any theory. You just gave a framework. So these are just frameworks and not some theories. Then they said that you did not discuss any other factor. Behavior of states is discussed on, in, on the basis of international system only. There are many other factors that impact the behavior of states. For example, non-state actors like terrorist organization and uh, the international human rights organization and uh, all other multi- ethnic organization, ethnicity, the organizations that work for the ethnicity for to protect the rights of ethnicity and uh, the religious organization. There are many non-state actors that impact the behavior of states, that influence states. 
and then there is globalization that influence the behavior of the states domestic variables and nature of masses all these factors these factors impact the behavior of the states but morton kaplan did not study any of these factors what he studied only international system so the critics of this system approach they they said that you did not discuss any other factor so this is the shortcoming of your approach then they said that your approach does not possess power of explanation i mean if you're saying that an international system appears in the world like a balance of power system loose bipolar system tied bipolar system what are the factors behind these system i mean why states would behave as predicted by morton kaplan why these systems appear in the world what are the reasons so your approach does not have power of explanation you are just saying okay balance of power system but why balance of power system appears then loose bipolar system tight bipolar system i mean if we compare with the traditional approach the classical realism we can say that yes the balance of power system appears because states are selfish human nature is selfish and uh, states are expansionary states states feel threat from all other states so they they make alliances with each other to balance the power of other states and to protect themselves so that they can survive so this is the power of explanation of classical realism or balance of power theory but here system approach of morton kaplan does not possess any power of explanation he did not explain anything then another shortcoming of the system approach students lose bipolar system in cold war did not turn into bipolar bipolar system tight bipolar system in in fact in in cold war tight bipolar system turned into loose bipolar system if any of you have ever studied cold by uh, cold war uh, you would definitely know that uh, in the early years of cold war in 1945 to 1953 that was the time when world witnessed tight bipolar system then from 19 of uh, from 1969 i i remember 1969 or 1979 the later years of uh, cold war witnessed loose bipolar system but here Morton Kaplan is saying that loose bipolar would turn into tight bipolar that did not happen in cold war in cold war in fact loose bipolar did not turn into tight bipolar but tight bipolar turned into loose bipolar the situation was inverse of what was predicted then they claimed that lack of empirical work there was a lack of empirical work the theory was presented but not researched adequately there was a lack of empirical work of this theory so students this was the criticism of system approach i have explained everything very much today we have studied the system approach presented by morton kaplan this is one of uh, the topic from the syllabus of international relations for css examination i hope i have made myself clear thank you so much for listening to the lecture Don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Thank you so much Allah Hafiz.